let's have a look at the use of the camera. To turn on your 360 camera, you'll press the power button on the side. You'll notice a blue light will come on. A constant blue light indicates the camera is charged. A flashing blue light indicates low power. And a red light indicates recharge. If you would like to connect your camera to your remote iPad or iPhone, press the Wi-Fi button to enable the network. On the front, you'll also notice some icons. And this is where we find out our Wi-Fi and the camera mode that it is set to. The small camera that is blue indicates a still image setting. If you would like to change it to a video setting, press the mode button and you will notice a blue camera is indicated. This allows us to take video. For us to take a still image, it's very simple. Ensure that you are in the camera mode, take off your silicon cover and locate the button that is on the front. Then simply press. Did you hear the sound? That indicates you've taken a photo. From here, you'll need to import your photos onto your PC. We use the USB cable and plug that into your camera and your PC. And that enables us to download our photos. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the learning library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group. You can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created.